Welcome back. This is Round 1 Action, TVJ's Junior Schools Challenge Quiz. The scores are George Headley Primary on 3 and Corinaldi Primary also on 3. Now, for this section of Junior Schools Challenge Quiz, it's the face-off, which covers math, science, English language, and social studies. Face-off 1 is in the category of mathematics, and it's Mikkel Graham from Corinaldi up against Malik Fellows from George Headley. Mikkel, the price of a book has been reduced by 20%. If the reduced price is $128, what was the original price of the book? Question passes to Malik. Would you like to try? Yes, Miss. Two thousand five hundred and sixty dollars. Incorrect. It's a hundred and sixty dollars. Mikkel, what is seven point zero nine eight rounded to the nearest tenth? Seven point one. Correct. What is the sum of a hundred and three point nine and two hundred and nine point eight? Four hundred and thirteen point seven. Incorrect. Would you like to try Malik? Yes, Miss Three hundred and thirteen point seven. Oh, that is correct. Mikkel, what is eight and a quarter divided by one and a half? Would you like to try Malik? No, Miss. It's five and a half or eleven over two. And Mikkel, what is the area? of a rectangle with length 34 meters and width 5 meters. 170 meters squared. Correct. Malik, an item was bought for $210 and sold at a profit of 30%. What was the sale price? $273. Correct. What is 55.876 rounded to the nearest 10? 60. Correct. What is the sum of 124.6 and 125.9? 250 250.5. Correct. What is 6 and a quarter divided by 1 and a quarter? Seven. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Mikkel? No, thank you. It's five. And Malik, what is the area of a rectangle with length 15 meters and width 11 meters? 165 meters square. Correct. That's the end of the math face-off. We move on to science. And this is Nathan Gordon from Corinaldi up against Nave Miller from George Headley. Nathan, what is the name for the length of pregnancy in humans? Would you like to try, Nave? No, thank you, miss. Gestation period. Nathan, what is the name for the reflection of a sound wave by a surface? Echo. Correct. What is the study of rocks and soil called? Would you like to try, Nave? Yes, miss. Mineralogy. Incorrect. It's geology. Nathan, complete this statement with the correct word. The sticky part of a flower that catches pollen grains is called the? Septum. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Nave? No, thank you, miss. Stigma. And Nathan, in which part of the human body are the biceps? The thigh. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Nave? Yes, miss. The arm. That is correct. Your questions now, Nave. What is the average gestation period in humans? Nine months. Correct. What is the purpose of acoustic foam on the walls of a radio studio? To prevent echoes. Judges? Accepted. Okay, what is the study, Nave, of plants called? Would you like to try, Nathan? No, thank you. It's botany. Nave, complete this statement with the correct word. The part of a flower that holds the stigma where it can best catch pollen is called the? Filament. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Nathan? No, thank you. It's the style. 
And in a way, what is the name of the tissue that connects a muscle to a bone? Cartilage. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Nathan? Yes, Miss Tendant. Repeat. Tendant. Incorrect. It's tendon. That's the end of the science face-off. We move on to English language, and this is Captain Tanika Grant from Coronaldi up against Rikalia Evans from George Headley. Tanika, what part of speech is the word booked in this sentence? The man booked a flight to England. Verb. Correct. I will be going to school in the summer. What tense is used in that sentence? Future tense. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Rikilio? Yes, thank you. Future continuous tense. That is correct. Tanika, can I get back the money I lent you? Is this sentence a statement, a request, or a command? Request. Correct. Spell journalist. J. Question passes to Rikilia. Would you like to try? Yes, thank you. J O U R N A L I S T. Correct. And Tanika, form a noun from the word minor. Minority. Correct. Rikilia, what part of speech is the word his in this sentence? The boy gave his pen to the girl. Pronoun. Correct. I slept like a baby after the party. What tense is used in that sentence? Past tense. Correct. I have $200 in my wallet. Is this statement a question, a statement? Is this sentence a question, a statement, or a command? Statement. Correct. Spell miraculous. M-I-R-A-C-U-L-O-U-S. Correct. And form an adjective from the word metal. Metallic. That is correct. Five for five for Echelia. The final face-off is in social studies, and this is... Melania Osborne from Corinaldi up against Captain Amira McLean from George Headley. Melania, which Jamaican parish is situated in the north of St. Thomas and the east of St. Mary? Let me read that again. Which Jamaican parish is situated to the north of St. Thomas and the east of St. Mary? St. Anne. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Amira? Yes, please. Portland. Correct. Melania, in what year did former Jamaican Prime Minister P.J. Patterson reinstitute the celebration of August 1 as a national holiday, holiday Emancipation Day? Would you like to try, Amira? No, thank you. 1997. Melania, on which continent can you find the Andes mountain range? No. Would you like to try, Amira? Yes, we eat South America. Correct. Melania, which vegetable is mainly used in Jamaican pepper pot soup? Carrot. Incorrect. Amira, would you like to try? Yes, please. Kalalu. That is correct. And final question, Melania. Who was Jamaica's first and only premier? Norman Manley. Correct. Amira, your questions. Which Jamaican parish is bordered by the parishes of St. Anne in the east, St. James in the west, and St. Elizabeth and Manchester in the south. St. Mary. Incorrect. Would you like to try Melania? Yes, thank you. Trelawney. Correct. Amira, free villages were the result of full emancipation in Jamaica in what year? 1838. Correct. On which continent can you find the Rockies mountain range? North America. Correct. What is the main ingredient of the Jamaican staple, bami? Carbohydrate. Incorrect. Would you like to try, Melania? Yes, please. Flour. Incorrect. It's cassava. And final question, Amira. Who was Jamaica's fourth prime minister? Norman Michael Manley. That is correct. And at the end of the face-off, we have Corinaldi on 9 and George Headley on 22. Stay tuned. The final challenge will determine our winners right after this break. 